Yo, yeah, it's me, James. Uh, today, <clears throat> I'm going to be doing a soap. And the soap that I'm going to give my first thoughts on it is the Synergy Gondolier. Now, the only reason why I know that that's what it is is because that's what it has on the packing slip, and that's what I ordered. Um, I don't see the scent on the packaging at all. Uh, so, I'm going by that. Uh, the scent is described as rose, jasmine, juniper, and cedar. Oh, it's from howtogrowamustache.com, by the way. Uh, sorry about that. I do get a floral scent. I don't smell so much rose to me. It's very complex. To me, it almost smells more uh, nutty, like almondy or something. But it's a, a very nice scent. I like the way it smells, and just from the way it read, I knew I'd like it. Um, the way their soaps have been described, in this wide mouth tin, which looks like an 8mm tin to me. That's uh, what it reminds me of. 8mm are like film that used to be on a reel like this. Okay. So, it says, performs best at 95 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit, which I guess means the water that you're applying to your face and to your medium that you're using to generate lather. So, that's probably the range that mine is in. Uh, now, it's an 8 ounce tin. And... Trying to see if there's anything on here that caught my eye. Oh, a vegan product. So, means no animal products. Uh, there's the ingredients, as you can see here. I'll also put them on a slide in the video. So they're streaming by. Uh, purified water, cocoa butter, mango butter, cocoa butter, avocado oil, pumpkin oil, castor oil. Uh, coconut oil, palm oil, neem oil, safflower oil, chamuka oil, glycerin, sodium, and potassium hydroxide, soybean oil, aloe extract, uh, yellow dock root, maca root, and other essential oils and fragrances as needed for the scented products. Alright, so that's a lot. Uh, a lot of the oils I'm familiar with just from reading around, and they all have some type of property that's good for the skin. So I'm expecting that. Um, I've already pretty much prepped my face, washed it, just finished doing another video uh, with Mystic Waters and rinsed all that off. So my skin's pretty ready right now, so I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. So the razor I'll be using uh, today is the Icon S3S Dual Personality Head Solid Bar Comb with the bamboo handle Re released by Icon on razors a couple years back and just that high polish finish that they're known for uh, the laser engraving that they put on their products just a nice handle to it laser engraving there fully machined this stainless steel version is and it is just awesome it's not as polished here underneath the cap so just the outside and like every modern icon the blade tabs do not stick out when you have it loaded uh, that was probably about the main thing that What's more difficult with this razor is the fact that how do you load it? How do you get everything put together? Uh, All right. Thankfully, 
there's a sink full of water right here. Uh, okay. Well, you could put it on like that. The little tiny t blade tabs right there. And then just carefully the Balsano blade I'll be using today, by the way. Take the cap, put it over the top, carefully go back that way. I like to turn it over and then proceed to put the handle on. nice. So, what I like to do with my dual personality razor is I'll start with the open comb side and today I got about uh, two days worth of growth so open comb and then solid bar for the rest of the passes. Alright Lord Randall, been soaking. Uh, just squeezed it out. Because that's how I like to begin. Again, try the water in the cap method. So the soap that I, or <laughs> the water that was just sitting on there while I did all the opening to the video is now in the cap for the soap the top and so just glistening and here we go wow that smells good see proto lathers already gathering so it seems like it's easy enough to lather just some moisture for the top there one more time on my face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this down. Dump the rest of that out. Rinse my face real quick so I can put that creamy goodness on. Be right back. Alright, I'm back. And get this creamy goodness. Take what proto lather was generated here on the top, and this is going to help me tremendously. I really think it helps. That's my opinion. This proto lather is really creamy. little thick so I want it on there just to kind of be a base figure you're going to be using it anyway Just put it on your skin 
All right. Let's set this off to the side. It smells great. Feels creamy. Just going to dip a little bit more on the tips. Looks good. Brush feels nice with the weight. Try just a little bit more water. Mm, smell, scent smells really good. Lather's nice and tight on the bubbles, so has a good slipness feel to it. Alright. Let's see how this goes here. That should be plenty for three passes. Up. Been a few since I shaved with it, so uh, this is one of those ones that I'm a little bit more straight out. It's a very heavy razor. Feels slick enough. Dance enough. All right, that's enough for pass one. Uh, skin doesn't feel dry, so let's see. Be right back. All right, I'm back. Let's lather up. As I rinse, there seemed to be a nice slickness to the face. Something's stimulating my skin. It's a little, slightly tingly. Lather still feels good. Um, <laughs> seeping all out the back end of my knot. Bring this back to the tips. And let's put some of this back on. That's 3S with the solid bar set. Looks like an intimidating razor, possibly to you, because of the massive head. It's really not that aggressive on the solid bar side. It's still got plenty of gap in there, though. Go one more time. Rinse. Last pass. Be right back. Not sure. 
how to nail it down quite yet. I don't typically like being left this thin. I mean, there's protection there. It's slick enough, so that helps to give them plenty of glide for the blade against the skin. But I still feel more comfortable seeing just a little bit tight, more dense lather itself. For cushion. Still some tingling could be from the razor. Again, hadn't used it in a while, so there is, it's considered an aggressive razor. And perhaps I am being a little too uh, heavy handed with it. I'll come back with some final thoughts. After I rinse. Alright, I'm back. Rinsed off, uh, did some alum. Uh, just because I wanted to know a little bit more about what's going on with the tingling and I'm still not positive um, as you can probably see right now I'm a little bit more redder than what I have been recently in my videos um, so I know that the shave itself is an aggressive razor uh, the tingling could have been from just not having the angle totally right uh, experience could have kept me from nicking myself all over the place because of taking it a little bit more gently uh, for my face since I know it a little bit more now than when I first got the razor. Um, uh, as far as the soap goes, the soaps left me itself as far as not dried. Uh, skin feels pretty soft. Uh, Overall, the Synergy Shaving Soap from How to Grow a Mustache. A very unique concept with the 8mm tins. And, uh, yeah, it looks, looks like it's a pretty good soap. I'll have to dial in the lather uh, just for something that I want a little bit more dense throughout the whole shave. As you could tell in the last pass, uh, I lost some dense density to the lather. Uh, I want it a little bit more rich. Uh, other than that, everything seems great, and thanks for watching.